Hi, welcome to Mainland 5W channel. Today's session, we're going to speak about Graph TV. Now, this is one of the very commonly used topic today, given that we are in the age of social networking, we are in the age of graph like, you know, like Facebook, LinkedIn, you'll see a lot of places, the graph database is of very handy. Okay. So without wasting time, what is a graph database? It's used in a generally the data model is nodes and relationship. And some examples could be Neo4g, Orient DB, Infinite Graph, Allegro Graph. These are some examples of the software which you can really understand about the graph database. So what is a graph? It's an abstract representation of a set of objects where some pairs are connected by links. So you have an object which is having coordinates like vertex and node. You have a link which is an edge arc and then there is a relationship. Okay, so that is what is a graph about. There are different type of graphs like undirected graph, directed graph, pseudo graph, multi graph, hyper graph. Okay. So we are not going into the algorithmic bookish definition, but just directly jump into what is a graph database. A database with an explicit graph structure is a graph database. So each node knows its adjacent nodes. As the number of nodes increases, the cost of local step remains the same. And there is also an index for lookups. So compared to relational database, it's if you really see uh, this is optimized for connections, this is optimized for aggregations. Okay, that's one of the difference in your graph databases. If you look at the key value store, key value store is optimized for simple lookups, but here it is optimized for traversing connected data. So, for example, optimized for trees of data. Here it is optimized seeing the forest and the tree and the branches and the trunks. Okay. So what is Neo4j? It's a graph database plus a looking index, a property graph, a full asset, atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability, high availability with enterprise edition. You can have so many nodes, embedded server and the REST API. So if you really see uh, what happens like when you just search for your Neo4j. So let's just do a casual search on Neo4j. So it talks about a, a graph platform, right? So it's, it's a graph platform. It's a fully managed cloud service today. And it's always on graph database. You can see a lot of customers using it. And you can also see that it's got a lot of products. So what you have is you have uh, you have something called as a Neo4j databases. Uh, you have something called as Neo4j or a cloud database service. It's got desktop, Bloom, Graph Data, Science Library, Cypher query language. So you can download the desktop version, practice it. I just wanted to show you that these are the way by which you can actually use your database. And if you really see the graph platform, how it looks like in the thing, you have developers and admin use your developers and admin graph interaction happens there's a storage in the neo4j there's a graph analytical on the analytical tooling and you can do a lot of data integrations and then you can see that you can have a labeled property graph model kind of thing and you can also compare this with your various things so all these are available here for your references so i suggest that you can go through it so this is and you can see that there are so many use cases which are happening but i think one of the use cases which is graphs is used for knowledge graphs so you can do empower your data to do more with knowledge graphs you can codify data for inferring new knowledge using connection to support okay and decision by the human software or the ai systems and similarly you can see in use cases it's used uh, for your life science mdm identity access management, social networking. So you can see there are so many examples where you can, it will show you how you they're using the graph databases. Okay. LinkedIn, China using it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. A lot of customers using it. Like if you really see eBay. Okay. Neo4j powers intelligent commerce for eBay uh, on the Google assistant. 
okay, by using this particular software. Similarly, you can see that there are customers uh, in retail like Walmart is also using this particular Neo4j. So you can browse the these things and see and there is also a developer resources of a lot of interest for all the people in terms of how you can really write your APIs apart from what is given to you by the interface to really code. Okay. So thanks for watching. So we'll meet again.